What is going on, fellow members of the Prank Squad? Cole here, and today is going to be a little bit of a different video. We're going to do a little bit of an unboxing slash review slash test. So as you can see, I have new content right here, and I'm not going to flip it over because I don't want you to see my address. But I'm just going to cut it open and show you what it is. It is the, don't even know the name, I know it's a Pile Pro, but it is a wireless microphone. And I also got a, um, what's it called? Amazon was in a hurry to get this out because this, look at this tape right here. It's not, it's like not even sticking down. Look at that. Cut through that. Uh, that's not even smart. Okay. Alright. Once I get it open, I'll bring your view up. Oh, that's a nice noise to hear it opening like that. Okay. And now, just a second while I get it out of the box. So as you can see, what was in the box was the Pile Pro Audio Professional Lavier, uh, Lavier, whatever, however you say, micro wireless microphone system, and it is the model number PWM96. And also, because I have a DSLR, the Canon T4i, I had to get one of these, which is a converter. It is a one fourth, also known as a some, I think it's a six point thirty five to a uh, 3.5 millimeter. I'm so excited I can't even talk because I've been needing to get one of these for a while. And so we will take, you guys will see this in a little bit once we get the microphone unboxed. Okay, so I changed the angle around so hopefully you guys can see me unboxing this and hopefully you're able to see all this now. Seems that they put a line of tape which it's kind of annoying because I really want to get into this box. You know, I'm not going to even make you watch this. And hold on one second. It's magic magically going to be cut open. And wham, it's open. Okay, so it looks like I opened it upside down, but whatever. Okay, first thing we got in the box here is the limited warranty policy and also register your product, which I'm going to be doing because this is very important. Got the instruction booklet, and just now I realized this is the right side up. So now, on to the good stuff. Okay, so now we have... Right, let me just clean all this stuff off so we can see the real components of this product. Okay, so I had to put the camera on a little bit of a slant, so sorry about that. Um, so this is what was in it. Um, there's also, you know, in case you want to know the full contents, there's the instruction paper has a little bit of a diagram here we'll read that and then you have your limited warranty I do suggest you do this right here come on focus focus okay the register your product because it's always good to have anything registered especially when you're taking it out in the public because you never know if it's gonna get stolen now the first thing that I've noticed from all reviews about this right here is this is the transmitter so this will go into the back pocket of me or Seth or Brett or anybody and the uh, first thing I noticed about this is, as it's seen and said in all reviews, it is a pretty big for a transmitter. Now let me say, all this stuff is warm because I literally ran to the mailbox as soon as I got notification that it got delivered. Went and got it after it was sitting out there. So, we'll take this out first. So this is the transmitter here. So this will go in the back pocket. It has a clip which I've been told is very cheap and then right here you got the come on focus camera's not focusing make me mad okay there's not very good lighting sorry about the lighting there we go oh okay anyways you have your right here is the jack which the lavier mic or lavier however you say it I'm so excited I can't even speak you got the volume rocker, which we're going to play around with to figure out what sound we need. Oh, finally it focuses. And then you have your on and off switch. And so this light right here will turn green when it is synced with the uh, transmitter right here. Wait, not the transmitter, sorry, the receiver. So we'll just put this back where it belongs. And I believe this takes this. I don't know. I'm not sure. So next we have the wireless microphone actual microphone and let me just get it out of this little tie here and oh, man this thing's huge 
It's a pretty long, extensive thing. I can't even have the whole thing on camera. Okay, so as I've been told, the little thing right here is pretty big for a microphone. And that's what you expect when you get something for $10. By the way, this is $10. And shout out to Amazon for sending the um, both of them together because normally they don't send stuff together. But they did. So, because it was on the... If you buy these two together, this set right here, and the Hose Tech, Hosea Technology Headphone Adapter, you will get it together, most likely. So, I'm going to go ahead and connect this. I know it doesn't have any batteries in it. We're going to get into the batteries in a second. So, go ahead and connect. It goes right in like that. So, you could use a different microphone if you want. I've been told there's static and just some stuff that if you use a different microphone, but this is the microphone that it comes with. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the receiver. So this is the receiver, pretty beefy receiver here. I'm pretty surprised how big it is and why they would make it a one-fourth just so you would have to pay more. My guess why they made it a one-fourth is so you would have to pay more money to pay for another and this is the antenna I'm told if you wrap it around you know your camera or whatever it gives you better better sound and whatever but I'm not gonna mess with that kind of stuff because once you start messing with the antenna and stuff it just starts to mess other stuff up and then it comes with an included battery German tech so apparently these are German batteries and colorful colorful so I don't, I'm going to just test these batteries and once they die, they die. I have backups for both. Um, I would trust the, this is the D battery, right? Please tell me. 9 volt. I would trust this 9 volt. And now we're going to open this. And this takes the little double A. So I'm going to get everything batteried up and then we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I spent about like 10 minutes off camera trying to find my SD card. And I can't find it. And by the way, I wrapped up the microphone around the transmitter because it was just too long and it was looking kind of unprofessional to have it just hanging around. So now I'm taking out the headphone adapter one fourth into the 3.5 millimeter. So let me just get rid of the packaging. And here it is. It's just a little thing here. And what you do is you plug this, it goes into there, and then it will plug into your camera. Now I have my camera sitting here, but I can't find my SD card. So we will worry about that in a second, and just to show you, it still functions properly with it in there. So this will always be in there for me at least. If you have a camera that has a one fourth uh, jack or anything with a one fourth jack, you can plug it in if it records audio or whatever you need to do with it. So now I'm going to try and find my SD card. I will be back in just a second. Okay, so I had to back up a little bit to get this shot. But, story of my life, I lost something. Uh, so I grabbed a, another camera that I used, a uh, SD card right out of there, and just threw it in the DSLR. So I have the EOS, EOS Rebel T4i, as you can see there. And uh, it's a pretty good camera. Uh, I share it with my parents. It's not completely mine. But uh, that's what I've been using to film the pranks. And it would, apparently the quality is pretty good, and I love it. So I decided why not buy a microphone for it. So as you can see, um has this little mic port right here. And it is not a one fourth, unfortunately. Um I wish it was, but it's not. So this is gonna fit perfectly right into there. So it's just gonna hang down for the person that does it. Um, the other one that stuck out, I thought it was too dangerous and it could probably break this right here, break your uh, receiver. So I did not want to go with that one. And plus, it was not Amazon Prime. I wouldn't be able to get it in two days, so I could go and film a new prank with the microphone. So now I will show you what happens when you turn both of them on. So you have that one's on, and this one should turn green also. Yep, and they're both green now, so that's how you know they're synced. And now I am going to switch cameras so you can hear the audio. Okay, so story of my life. I had the, a hard time finding a card, and now I realize how short this makes me look. Um, sorry if the audio is horrible on this, or if it's good or great, let me know. 
Um, so now I'm going to put it all the way up. So this is going to be a test. So this is what it sounds like with the audio all the way up. And now I'm going to put it all the way down to see if there's any static when it's off. Okay, so now it's all the way. So I've been watching a lot of videos about this system right here. And uh, I've heard that uh, if you put it halfway, it sounds pretty decent. And when they were testing it halfway, it sounded pretty decent. And uh, they said, oh, I suggest putting you in a Zoom H. You know, I don't want to put a Zoom in. I want to put it right into my camera. Um, the good thing about this is you guys can't really see it. Oh, yeah, you could. But here it is. It's connected to the camera. And the good thing about it is that you can pick this pick this little here I'll get on my knees here you can pick this little system up and just hold it in your hand while you're recording and one hand recording so now it look, kinda looks like yeah okay it looks now I'm really short but anyways this is what it sounds like and this is the test there's gonna be an outdoors test coming and in all the new pranks that you will see from me you will hear this wireless microphone and so that's what it sounds like with full air and it also has this little thing that is removable it's like the wind guard and I don't even think I have it clipped on right oh sorry for the sound I'm not gonna mess with it now but I don't think I have it clipped on right so I'm gonna figure out that and I will see you guys in a second when I take this windproof cover off prank squad disappears okay so I am back and I took the little weatherproof cover off as you can see focus on a camera come on sorry if you now you won't hear that annoying focusing noise though I will say that uh, hold on one second here and um, so pretty much I, this is how I'm gonna be wearing it with the little weatherproof cover off and um, in a second here I'm gonna throw on a black shirt I'm gonna show you you know you know how to pretty much put it on because I've actually had one of these on before uh, many times I used to do the weather at my school and they used to have these wireless mics and also uh, I was in a news station before I've been in the news doing weather reports and so I have a little bit of experience with these but not a lot I'm not your pro like Roman Atwood or anything like that so I'm gonna throw a black shirt on and we'll see if it's disguised or not so I will be back in just a second and I am magically gonna teleport into a Okay, so I am back and wham, I'm in a black shirt. That was didn't make any sense. So it's kind of not that disguised because I didn't try that that much. And let me just say, mesh material shirts like this, this has a way firmer hold. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and place it to, you know, so it's like hidden more. Oh man. Okay, so that's like as hidden as it's gonna get. And people aren't gonna be looking, you know, to see what's hanging down from your shirt. Because uh, normally when you're pranking, they're not gonna be looking at your neck. And I would recommend to put it right here, right here, but for right now, I'm gonna have it right here. And let me just adjust the volume real quick. Because I found that um, when you don't adjust the volume, it sounds really bad. I just played back one of the little clips. Um, so let me say, if you're doing a prank outside, this thing is probably going to give you away. Focus on it. This camera will focus on your face, but it won't focus on items that you choose. Well, anyways, I'm tired of holding that up because that made no sense. Um, if you take, if you pretty much, if you go outside, um, you're gonna get wind either way with or without that on so I would say if you can find a way to disguise it or maybe buy a different one then I would advise to do that but otherwise look it's pretty hidden right now so let me show you and pick it up like I'm vlogging I'll show you so I just start walking around you know going up to people and I'll like I like have a let me have a conversation with somebody like hey Ryan Miller how's it going hello hey it was good it's good he's not He's not well, his eyes are actually looking at the mic, that wasn't a good example, and I was talking to a make-believe person, but anyways, you kind of get my point, when I'm walking fast, like I'm doing the pooter prank, people aren't going to go and look, because it's so small, 
especially like you just walking by walking by there's no way unless you have like eyes that can replay stuff in slow motion that you're gonna oh no that's not good there's no way you're gonna be able to identify that so also you know you can like just flip it around because the good thing about this microphone is boom it records in all directions so now I'm gonna cut this clip and I'm gonna do it in all the sitting down like this so this is the most hidden way now it kind of just looks you might be and also like maybe wear a necklace or something like that just to cover it up so they're focusing on your shiny necklace uh, right now I don't know if you can see but the wires are hanging out of my shirt but normally I'll have jeans on so it'll be in my back pocket so now you're gonna hear how it's gonna sound because it's omnidirectional which is really Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. That is it. Unfortunately, my camera did run out of batteries, so I wasn't able to show you that omnidirectional thing. But, uh, we are the prank squad, so I'm, I don't think that we- we will probably do the test just so you guys want to know. Anybody that wants to be a prankster or, or wants to make videos, just so you know how the range is on that microphone. We will be putting out a video soon, probably sometimes next week to show you guys how the range is on that. I did test it, but unfortunately my camera didn't capture it. So that is it for now. If you guys um, didn't already see the new prank, it came out uh, today actually at midnight. It came out Sunday. And uh, just a quick little disclaimer. When I say Sunday at midnight, I mean like the first couple minutes of Sunday, like Sunday midnight. Um, uh, also, I forgot to give a shout out to Arix for letting us, for letting, for them letting us to use their track called Evolving during uh, the new prank. So if you guys haven't checked out that prank, it was pretty sweet. It was a pooter prank, and it is going to be part one. Part two will be coming out sometime in the near future. That's it for now. Prank Squad out.